someone contacted me recently for a matter, and I just want to say thank you. Um, do you know sometimes when you've done so many years of research, you start to forget um, certain things because it's just so overloaded with so many different informations. Anyways, I was doing this matter, and I just want to thank all the energies um, globally for reminding me of some of the laws that are created for all of us. Now, keep in mind, there's two different systems in place. One is a democratic feudal law for those who are not in their correct proper person status, and those of us who are in our correct status as in the republic. Hence, the ones who are subject to feudal law are then subject to the Black Christian codes, doctrines, the slave, Negro uh, codes, which basically are designed to steal um, their inheritance, their birthright, and all their rights. Anyways, I was um, doing this um, adverse claim, and they sent me this cool Taj Tariq Bey video. It's an oldie, but a goodie. And it was saying that he had written on the board, driver's license fraud, converting rights into crimes. These inquisition operations are and have been instituted under the U.S. U.S. democracy feudal system. That's the U.S. U.S. democracy feudal system as distinguished from the lawful United States Republic. Um, branch, I think it says, um, is allodial in character. And then he goes on to write some other stuff that's not showing up here. But they sent me a few of Taj's videos just a moment ago that I'd watched you know, a number of times prior and there were some um, case law studies that I couldn't uh, locate while I was doing this adverse claim. And you know, this morning I woke up and they sent it to me and I was just, I just want to say thank you because there's so many people out there that are um, requiring this information to get straight. And um, I was talking somewhat, uh, the, someone earlier that was saying that they've discovered they're Israelites. And I just want to say that the notion of Israelites, it is really um, more a way of being, I think, in that it's the Israel people, the people that are real, who are the true indigenous people, the humans, on the only humans on the planet, actually, the only race on the planet, actually, and then everyone else is a hybrid, which we humans created. Um, so... And then, again, I was talking about the Cherokee, Choctaw, Seminelli tribe that they have us under. Another trick back, because you, you can't really claim that as a nationality. There is no Negro nation. There's no black nation. There's no, um, there might be a Cherokee nation, but in terms of law and dealing with issues proper and one proper person, um, using the Constitution as principles. The Constitution are principles, people. They're, they're not... Um, necessarily um, laws that are, um, they're the principles for law and they're the principles that we use um, for our rights as um, the real republic, as the real heirs, Surrey jurors, Surrey heirs. Hence, we are not allowed, I don't think, even to hire lawyers or attorneys because liars are liars and it's, they would mess you up because they're using magic spells all day, every day. And I would clearly state that, like I've said to, you know, entities I'm coming in and I can't hear very well and I don't see very well under stress. Um, I don't see very well um, usually anyways, but, um, oh Lord, so they, they have to speak clearly and speak in, in just regular, um, you know, layman's terms because it's challenging for me to be able to decipher uh, spell language and um, legalese and bondage. It confuses me and it actually puts me to sleep as I was saying earlier. So what I recommend to people who are dealing with them 
is to state that clearly and don't go in there pretending that you know any of their laws or you can reiterate, reiterate any of their stuff because that's what gets you into um, problems with contracting with them. And just ask them these questions, you know, um, clearly. Just say to them, are you doing um, racketeering? Are you doing treason? Is this fraud? Is this genocide? Are you committing human trafficking? You know, um, are you a Democratic Party member? Is this intellectual property theft? Are you trying to overthrow the republic? Are you really communist Nazis? Um, where is your, you know, foreign registration statement? Do you have an anti-bribery statement? Do you have a nationality card? Do you have an address? Um, you know, do you have a, a employment identification number? And uh, where is your wet ink signature on these um, instruments and mine? And if you, I, uh, you know, accidentally sign anything, you reserve the right to rescind your um, signature, your, um, yeah, your gnome. And so tell them that in the actual writing and read what you've written on the adverse claim. Big mistake I made once was going in and not realizing to bring the actual claim and just read it as you've already served it to them. We go in there and think we have to now come up with a new script, a new set of words. Just say, this is what I got. I got nothing else. And then they try to maybe get you into other um, side contracts by asking you the name and just state to them, did you send in the mail, which is mail fraud and swindles, 18 U.S.C. 1341, um, this all capital letter, which is an adjective, not a noun. Um, children can decipher that as one's nom is written with capital, you know, A, and then small common letters after that. Same with the last nom. And so these all capital um, names that they have on these instruments, those are actually listed as corporate dead entity statuses. And so they've put you in a uh, corpus, cor I think it's called corpus delecti, a dead entity instrument which they are now possibly trading and ask them, did you make 10,000 notes from that prison bond? You know, did you make, are you making notes off of this auctioneering going on right now? And if so, can you send the taxes over to the IRS and send me back the profits from whatever this instrument is, is creating and just speak to them politely and respectfully and, you know, get them to say what they need to say because everything that comes out of their mouth after that, you and I all know that that's fraud. And so unless they say case canceled, um, you know, they have to deal with their actions. And remember, people, all that stuff is being recorded. Everything that is going on in your life right now, they can see you all day, every day. Mm -hmm. And so even Barack and them, they made a video on YouTube talking about that, that they can hear you, whether it's through the lights or the computer or the phone or whatever, they can see you. So everything is already being recorded. So in this particular case, they had um, this entity um, trying to claim that he had some stuff on him when they had him already shackled and chained. So they have that on camera and the international authorities can see that. All you have to do now is correct your status and being a proper person and know in your heart who you are, regardless of whether you have a card or not, because you are more all day, every day. It's for juris, it's for facto. Um, if you don't have a country that's supporting you and protecting you, you're automatically more if you're an American. America is from Alaska to um, Chile. And so know that, people. That's what's really going on. Anyway, share, subscribe, and thank you to everyone who sent all their donations into us quickly. We really appreciate it. You've been awesome. We're really glad to help all of you and we're trying our best, but in some cases like this particular one has taken a little bit more time than we anticipated. So I'm a little bit tired out, so we'll see how it goes, but thank you to everyone. And I did have to raise the prices a little bit because it's taken far more time than I ever anticipated and away from my own family. So um, thank you again, and I'm happy for helping everyone. For those of you who want private consultation, you can email me at mullings at gmail.com. I'll put it in the description below. Have a great day. Like, share, subscribe. This one.